Hi there, Stampers and Crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And surprise, this was an unplanned live. Well, I planned it this morning, but um, it wasn't on my normal schedule. I'm normally not on on Saturday nights, but this is a surprise. And I hope that I can catch some of you around in different time zones that I don't normally get to catch during the day. I am going to be playing with brand new products today. Super excited. My order came in yesterday for these brand new online exclusives that are coming out. Stampin' Up! is releasing these to customers um, July 6th. And they're available now to demonstrators. And they're available in a demonstrator kit. And they are super fun. And um, I, I I can't wait to show them to you. And we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to make... And you know what? It's never too early to play with Christmas stuff. Seriously. It's never too early to mess around and, and come up with ideas and... They are releasing a holiday set early, and I love that. So for those of you who like to be on top of things, or those of you who want to, who made a New Year's resolution to be on top of things, I'm here for you. And we're live. That means there is a giveaway. So uh, there is a um, one of the brand new things that are coming up with the. Um, Online exclusives, exclusives is the snowflake assortment. There are adhesives. Who doesn't love self-adhesive snowflakes? And um, they're, they're metallic, which is cool. And there's white as well, metallic and white. So all you need to do to enter is leave a comment, and you will automatically be entered to win. Many of you have already just entered. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. It's great to see you all live. This is awesome. So, um... If you, you can also get a second entry into the drawing if you share this video broadcast onto a social media platform such as Facebook or Pinterest and um, type the word shared into the comments so I know that you've shared and that way uh, you will be entered a second time. Yay! So excited to see you guys. So this is awesome. So the first thing I want to do is tell you a little bit about what we are actually playing with today. And... You know, sometimes things just don't go as planned. Let's see if I have it on here. Yada, yada, yada. There it is. Go, go, there. Yes, online exclusives. So this is um, Stampin' Up! on um, June 1st. Just announced that they're coming out with brand new online exclusives. So this is a new product line that Stampin' Up! started earlier this year. And they're going to, uh, on a regular basis, be adding new products and these products will only be available in the online store. So they won't be in any publication. You won't see them in the catalog or other publications. So uh, when they did this before, they sneaked a peek of a rhino. And it wasn't in the pre-order. So we had no idea the month before, as demonstrators, we had no idea uh, what was happening with the rhino. And boom, come uh, the release date in the online store, there's this brand new rhino that everybody was asking about. Well, they're doing it again. I can't tell you, it is the talk of the town right now. What is the deal with this truck and truck punch? Everybody wants it. It's not in the pre-order. And that's all the information I have. So I am just going on the assumption, and I hope I'm not making a fool of me and you when I assume this, that this is going to be like the rhino punch, and on July 6th, it's going to drop in my online store. And I will tell you one more thing um, about the Rhino and about the truck that I, I'm guessing about the truck. I don't know for sure. But um, the Rhino Punch, I mean, the Rhino was a damp stamp set in a die. The die sold out really quickly. They were they um, were super popular because everybody saw them in the, in the publication early. Everybody wanted them. And they sold out really fast, like within a month. So if you are in love with this truck, like I am, and I know many of you are, because all I've been hearing about is, what's the deal? What's happening with this truck? Come July 6th when this drops in my online store, I say, don't wait, get it. Or if you're a demonstrator in your own store, don't wait, get it right away. So uh, I think that that's going to be a, a, a big, big hit. All right, so uh, let's get into the actual online exclusives. So these are, there's going to be a, a lot more dropping in my online store on July 6th. So part of the, the deal with the online exclusives is they give us a little bit of a sneak peek uh, with the pre-work. So as demonstrators, we can get a little taste of it. We can show you some fun things, which I will be doing today. 
and um, there will be a lot more things coming on July 6th, including, I'm pretty sure, that truck and truck punch, because if it doesn't, uh, I know a lot of people are going to be very upset. All right, so these are the things that we can pre-order early. So if you're a demonstrator or um, in the demonstrator kit, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute because this is a great time to do it, you can get any of these products that I'm going to show you today. So these are the things that are available. So I'm just going to move horse and sleigh over to the side for one minute so we can focus on Timeless Charm because it's charming. So this is the Timeless Charm bundle. And let's see if I can zoom you in. Let's go, go zoom. Yay, there you go. Okay, so let's let's look at this. It is a super cute stamp set. This one is not holiday related. So there's one that's holiday related so we can get our jump on things. I don't know about you. I made that New Year's resolution. I was going to do it early. And I think I've, I think I've actually going to make that resolution come true. Might be the only one ever that I might make true. So um, Timeless Charm. It's a, it's a beautiful stamp set. We've got a couple of watercolor pieces here that can be you know, stamped together apart, some coloring, or this could be a really simple stamp. It's got birthday thanks and a sympathy or encouragement and, uh, greeting there. And then these dies. The dies are both uh, able to cut out the pieces that are here, but there's also standalone dies that work on their own. So... The reason why I didn't come on live yesterday was one, because my, my order came a little bit later than normally yesterday, and two, I wanted to make a few things before before we went live. I wanted to share a few things with you so you could kind of see these things in action. So the first thing I want to share, and I talked about these dies here, and I, I'm kind of sad because it's hard for me to do a pre-order haul without Linda here. <laughs> She is away this weekend, and it was really a tough decision. I, I was like, I don't know if I can do this solo. So um, anyway, she always puts together a really nice um, like pre-cut uh, layout of all of the dies before we do our show. And so not having her here, I, I don't have that. I, I'm just not as cool as she is. <laughs> but I do have some stamp cards to share, so I hope that you can get an idea of how these stamps work alone. So there's some that cut out the pieces, and then there's more that go with it that coordinate, and these were all standalones here. And I stamped this background on the new designer series paper that I'm going to show you in just a minute. So that is one idea with the Timeless Charm. And then the other one is a really simple set. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll just put this to the side. I started playing with one of these, and then once I started playing with it, I was like, oh really, really like this and I want to do it with all of it. So this is actually brand new um, in color shimmer paper from um, the 2022-24 in color collection and I embossed the words on it. This is the um, Tahitian Tide color and then I, I cut out this die for it's a simple card right but it's shimmery and it's shiny and it's pretty and then when I started making one I was like well we can't stop with one there's five different colors in this pack let's do them all so we've got orchid oasis and then there's starry sky parakeet party it's fun with a shimmer right and super easy very simple and sweet sorbet and then I use the in color dots to kind of coordinate there so that is my, my second project or set of projects there to share just a little something, just, you know, so you can kind of see it in action. And that's the Timeless Charm Bundle. And the next set of products that I'm going to bring out is a suite. And it's just going it, to, it's, it's, it's cool. And when I say cool, I mean cold. <laughs> because we are talking holiday themes. And it's June what I'm making this video, at least it's June. You could be watching this anytime. You could be watching the live stream or you could be watching a replay six months from now. So whenever you're watching this, and maybe, it, maybe it's actually winter time when you're watching it or re-watching it because you might be watching the replay later if you want to make one of these cards. Um, so this is the die set. And uh, sorry, it's a little bit jumbled here because I was using it. So there's uh, dies to cut out the stamps. And, and I'm going to show you this this stamp we're going to work with. The, um it's actually a really large stamp. It's in fact, let me pull it up so you can see. It's a really large stamp, right? It's a little bit bigger than you think it's going to be. And then we've got the dies here. They cut out the stamps, but then there's a few standalone pieces here 
There's a tree, some snow banks, and some other pieces as well. And I am in love with this. And I have to, I have to share a little secret. So uh, in March, I went up to Utah, and I was at the home office for a celebration for Million Dollar Achievers uh, that uh, hit a milestone in the last year. And we were on the pick line, and I was picking products. Um, and I looked down, and they were all current products. Usually there's current products on the pick line. But I looked down, and I saw this. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, that's not, we don't have that in our catalog. I'm like, hmm. I'm like, that must be something coming. And we got a peek at the catalog. The catalog hadn't come out yet, and it wasn't in it. So I was like, something's coming up. Something's up with that, because it was on the pick line already. So when I saw it in the online exclusives, I was pretty excited. I'm like, you know, I was waiting, because I'm like, I know it's going to be coming at some point. All right, so. <laughs> Mandy, thanks for bringing this up. I, I was going to talk about this later, but I'll, since you brought it up, I'll talk about it now and tease you with the paper in a second. She says, she says I got an email from you saying I ordered you from something from you that I didn't order. And yeah, any of you who are on my newsletter mailing list today got a little gift from me because I accidentally hit the wrong mailing list for my PPX Paper Pumpkin videos. And uh, that normally goes out to my Paper Pumpkin subscribers only. It's a gift. We do six alternate videos, my PPX crew and I, for our subscribers. And they only go out to our subscribers and our, our, stamp, our stamp It Up downline. And I hit the wrong list. So instead of only sending it to the subscribers, I sent the videos to everybody on the list. So yes, even if uh, you didn't even buy that Paper Pumpkin you got a taste of what we send out every month. The, the, they're alternate projects, and they're pretty awesome. So um, I sent it. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because you got a little extra gift there. They're pretty awesome, and I hope you enjoy them. And, yes, you did not buy it. I also sent you a second email after that saying I'm sorry. I'm explaining what I had done. So, anyways, I was going to bring that up later, but thanks for bringing it up now. I'm going to talk a little bit about Paper Pumpkin later. Um, so before we do, though, since we're in the middle of uh, the the open it's called um one horse open sleigh since we're in the middle of that uh let's let's share this designer series paper there are beautiful winter scapes on one side and patterns on the other uh some questions about the paper pumpkin are coming up right now the, the full kit is no longer available however the refills to this kit are and i'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later on because i'm going to share some alternates to it after and the add-on card kits, which I think are the best deal ever, and they're gorgeous, are still available. There's like 18 cards and envelopes, pre-printed, beautiful landscapes, and they're 10 bucks. And maybe, I think maybe there were 11. Whatever. It's ridiculously cheap. I was like, oh my gosh, I bought four of them. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that, right? Okay. So anyways, back to, back to the designer series paper. Look at this. So we've got a fox and a snowstorm, right? He's in the woods. He's in a snowstorm. How beautiful is that? And uh, we've got little, look at little Bambies in there. Oh my God, so cute. And then patterns on the flip side. I'm loving these designs. They're just so awesome and, and different, different than what we normally have. So I, that, I, I like that. I really like when we shake it up a little bit. I feel like I could just make a bunch of cards just with designer series paper. I love this one. We're going to use this one in the card today. I feel like this is either a sunrise or a sunset, which I'm a huge fan of being a photographer. I'm either, you know, sunsets are up really early with the sunrise, getting these orangey pretty skies. And so we've got the woods going on here, and I, I just absolutely adore it. And then we've got patterns on the back. This one, another fan of this one, because we've got a top-down aerial view as if you were the bird in the tree looking down. Or in my case, being a drone photographer, I feel like I'm looking, you know, it's a drone's view of the, the woods looking down. So you're a bird or a drone, you've got a top-down view, and that is just a really cool perspective. And then we've got some stripes on the back, and then we've got some ni nice snow scenes here. We've got a little house, a little house in the A-frame house in the woods. Oh yeah, I'm going to share some samples with that too. And another one that I absolutely fell in love with here is this little, and maybe this is the, maybe this is the A-frame house. You get the A-frame house there, see it? Maybe this is it up close at night. I don't know. We can pretend. 
I love it. It doesn't, it's just so, I don't know, warm and fuzzy and makes me happy. And I just want to, I just want like a hundred sheets of this <laughs> to play with. So that's the designer series paper. It's called uh, One Horse Open Sleigh is the Sweet. And then in addition to that, we have these adhesive snowflakes. And for those of you who are joining on late, I'm going to just let you know about the giveaway one more time because I'm giving these away. And they are the prize patrol to today and today, sorry, and all you need to do is leave a comment here. And if you share it, it you will get a second entry into the draw, which I'm going to do on June 16th. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the demo kit just because currently the products that I'm sharing with you are only available if you are a current demonstrator or if you purchase the demonstrator kit. And the demonstrator kit is quite an amazing deal right now because normally you get $26 free, it's $99, and you get to pick $125 of anything you want, including pre-order items. And you get free shipping on the kit. It's a great deal. Well, in June, you get a bonus $30 free. So that's $56 free. So you get $155 of anything you want. Could be pre-order, could be regular stuff, could be anything. And you get... Um, you get to you get to you pay ninety nine dollars. You get free shipping on the kit, and again, really great deal. So that is the demo, demonstrator kit. And the other thing that's happening right now that's a pretty good deal is designer series paper, the current paper, not the pre order. Uh, unfortunately, the pre order that I'm showing you isn't part of this deal, but the current paper is on sale for fifteen percent off. Okay, I see a couple people saying they that the I'm freezing uh, unfortunately I'm using my phone for the camera so I can't check it and I don't know what else to do to fix that so I'm going to hope that it writes itself and um, that hopefully it doesn't continue to do that okay um, with that I'm going to keep going actually I, if, if it continues I'll try to pull it up in a browser and see if I can watch it Oh, I hate that it cuts in and out like that. I, I thought I fixed all of these problems so it didn't happen. But, you know, when you're live, it is what it is. You know, you get all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, I'm just double checking, making sure that my, um, let's see, all of my settings are right here. And they are. I mean, they are what they should be. Um... Uh, yeah, I, I have everything, I think, right. So anyways, I'm sorry about that. Hopefully it fixes itself. It, um, yeah, tell me, is the audio okay on Facebook? Oh, boy. All right, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to let you look at these pretty things while I try to figure out what's going on because I see a bunch of you are having the same problem. So now I, I'm, I'll open it up in the browser and see if I can... Keyboard. See if I can figure that out. Sorry, I hate interrupting a fun stamping show for uh, technical difficulties. I think it means we're having too much fun. What do you guys think? <laughs> you guys say it, it seems to be better? Okay. All right, so... Huh, okay. So some of you say it's getting better. All right, hearing you now. Okay. All right, then I'm going to I'm going to continue on. If it happens again, I'll I'll go back to checking it cuz I don't want to stop the stamping fun. Technical difficulties just ruin our stamping fun. Actually, they don't. It's still fun, right? We we'll just whatever we can deal with. Okay. So, next up, let's oh, let's share some ideas. Hmm? You want to see some ideas? So, these ideas are with the um set that I just shared. This is the One Horse Open Slay Suite. And let me just zoom in a hair here so you can see. It's the A-frame. I couldn't stand it. This is a trip tech that I made with the A-frame and I just, you know, I cut it up into pieces. I'll have, I'll have a tutorial for that coming up on my blog. I made a double Z fold with that little A-frame in the woods. I'll share uh, how to do this double Z fold fold a little bit later on, just the fold itself. It's pretty easy. We're going to make this one. I did a little silhouette, right? Cute with the one horse open sleigh and that, that sunset or sunrise in the woods. <laughs> Anne's late about the truck punch. You, 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 you guys want to tell her about the truck punch? We don't know. <laughs> 
it's on there. It's not in the pre-order. They didn't give us any information, but I'm pretty sure it's going to drop on July 6th. So be there on July 6th because everybody is going crazy over that truck and punch. All right. So that's the deal. That's the deal as I know it as of now. And it could sell out fast because we've learned these online exclusives can sell out quickly. So be there early to get that truck. So this is uh, another one with the One Horse Open Sleigh, 6x6. Six six. Use the Designer Series paper. I just love this Designer Series paper. All righty. So let's do some skin. I am going to start with the Silhouette card. And then I'll show you how to make a double Z fold. I'm just going to show you the fold on that one, I think, though. The, the rest of the card's pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to use this designer series paper to create the card. But what I want to do is cut it down so it's showing. I, I only want this part of the, the designer series paper, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom of this. And the glasses are coming out. Truck suspense. It's true. It's truck mania right now. It's like crazy. It is crazy how much... How, how much I've, you know, people have been asking about that truck, man. Seriously, it's going to go viral. So I just cut like a half an inch off the bottom. So I got the scene that I wanted here. And then I'm going to cut it down to, um, oh, poop. I think it's three. And I, I have this on the blog. If somebody's already downloaded the free PDF, can you tell me, is it three and, and three quarters? I'm pretty sure it's three and three quarters. I should have printed it off myself. Uh, and, and that, um. Just so you guys know, there is a free PDF on the blog. It does have these dimensions already on it. It is three and three quarters. I just measured it, by the way, in case you were wondering. But you can go ahead and download that. So three and three quarters. I'm going to save this piece because I will use that on another card because I love that print. And then I'm going to cut this down to five inches. So now we've got our scene. And then we'll do our stamping. So the first piece of stamping that we're going to do is the, I'm going to take Memento Black Ink and I'm going to stamp this. As you can see, it is a very large stamp. So it's shown at a, you know, a certain percent on the flyer and I'm sure when it comes online, but so you see it in action, it's, it's a great size here. This is definitely a jumbo stamp. I would say. All right, so inking with Memento Black. And the other thing that I probably should have gone over is the the um, stamp sets are the Horse and Sleigh is photopolymer. You, you can probably see that. The Timeless uh, Charm is a rubber stamp. It does say that when you purchase it. It does say it, but just so you know. So... If you have a large or like a background stamp that's in the photopolymer, I recommend using either the foam mat, we do sell these, or a piece of foam or um, anything like that because the photopolymer doesn't have foam in it like the rubber does. And the smaller stamps don't seem to be a problem, but sometimes when you have larger stamps, pieces of it get, get lost when you stamp them. They are missing. You know, you know what I'm saying? There's like a little gap somewhere. And I get asked a lot, well, how do I fix that? How, this is this is how you fix it. Stamp the larger stuff using the foam pad or something like it. Okay, so we've got that on there. I know right now it's looking a little wonky and you're like, ah, I don't know how you feel about that. But wait, just wait. Remember that feeling. I'm going to put that aside and we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to do some stamping. We're doing stamping already. We're going to do some embossing. So... I'm going to heat emboss the words. I use the stylus shapes dies to pre-cut this banner. Sherry, I hope that gave you some ideas. If you're having some trouble with the, the big stamps, I hope that helps. Using the foam underneath it. And I'm going to stamp the word. And the joyful is from the horse and, horse and sleigh stamp set. So I'm going to stamp that a little bit to the right. In Versamark. I meant to use the emboss buddy on it first and I didn't. So I'm probably going to, this is the, if you, if you forget it, you will regret it step. 
and I forgot it and I'm probably going to regret it. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see. Here we go. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad. A lot of times you get a lot of static on there, but I think we did okay. This time I didn't regret it, but often I do. All right. So we're going to take the heat tool, the handy dandy heat tool that I just happened to have sitting right here. Oh, what a shock. I don't think I was prepared. And let's give that a minute to warm up because I didn't pre warm. And then we're going to just melt that powder down. And it, I, I love the white embossing. I'm using, I use Boho Blue for ink here. I'm sorry. It's really hard sometimes when I'm... Um, I, just, I try to hold it so you guys can see the uh, embossing. But then I can't see if I'm actually aimed in the right direction. There we go. And I'm not. You know, normally you're looking down when you're embossing, but if I did that, all you'd see is the top of my head, and I want you to be able to see the actual embossing because that is super cool. All right. So we've got our embossing on there. All ready to go. Okay. And so, got our two stamped pieces. And next up, I've got, and you can either use the black Stampin' Blend marker or you can use the Stampin' Write marker. And I don't have the um, the new one handy. I think I bought a new one, but I, I didn't. I still have an old one. You know, they have the new nib tips on the end, which probably would have been pretty handy for this. Uh, Amy, she's asking, what's that nifty holder tool? This comes in the, um, there's an embossing toolkit. It comes with all of these pieces. You've got a little uh, swiper here. If you've got some of those little leftover static pieces stuck to your thing, it's got this little holder and it's got the embossed buddy in the tray. That is available in my online store. All right, so I'm gonna take this marker and I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and color in the entire image going right up to the edge and I'm gonna turn it into a silhouette. So I know when you first look at it, you know, when I first stamped it, right, you guys were like, ah, I don't know, I don't know where she's going with this, right? But once you put all this together after it's colored, oh, it just looks so cool with the sun, especially with the, the you know, we've got the sunset in the background here. It's like a little silhouette of the, the sleigh going through the woods. I love it. I absolutely love it here. I'm just sorry. I'm just going to move over to a different um, a different camera view so I can just, there we go. So I can zoom in a little bit more for you guys. Can you see that okay? Now when you do this, if you see any of the lines coming through from the stamp, just add another layer. Super easy. Really, nothing to it. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? Lauren, I totally. This is absolutely something that we can all do, right? Just we're coloring in the lines like we were we were kids. I find it very relaxing because it's just it's like the adult coloring books, you know, you can just sit there and doodle. It's kind of like that. And if you make a mistake and go outside the lines a little bit, no one is going to know. So you can go ahead and do that too. You can add little pieces on there if you want to. No one's going to know it wasn't originally like that. No one's going to know it wasn't originally, you know. You could turn it into a unicorn. Just saying. <laughs> So 
So I'm going to be, I, I had a lot of fun playing with this suite. And I, I will be using this for my um, exclusive kit for July. I hope to have it out uh, by the end of June, but it may be the very beginning of July. Uh, I will have a special offer on it and I will get that up. And I apologize. I know some of you are purchase the kits every month. And this month after I got back from the trip, I was so far behind. I just ran out of time and I wasn't able to put one together and I was kind of bummed. I hate it when I, you know, I hate it when I don't get to do something, you know, when something doesn't just runs out of time like that. So I was really bummed. And anyway, so I'll probably make this, this, uh, offer when I do this one extra special because I didn't do one this month. I didn't have one for June. So I'll probably do make July is really special. And it's going to be this. See, I'm going to cover up that little horse has a little, um, he's got like a little collar on here. See how it's the little collar on there? I don't know. When I was coloring it, 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 it looked like a, I don't know. I didn't like it. <laughs> so I'm covering it up on this one. Again, I told you you got creative license, right? Okay, there we go. What do you think? A lot better, right? A lot better than when I first stamped it. And you were like, I don't know what she's going, what she's doing with that. So let's go ahead and uh, do some assembly. I'm going to go ahead and stick down the words. I'm doing that off the edge and then we'll take some scissors. Did I say July 1st? I'm sorry. If I said July 1st, Sherry, I apologize. It's July 6th that the stamp set will be available to customers. It is available now to demonstrators. If I said first, I'm sorry. Sometimes things just come out of my mouth and I don't even realize it. Don't even realize I said it. So I just pre, um, I pre folded and, and attached some of the card base. I know that's the part of the uh, project that I know you guys already know how to do. So just go ahead and attach. Oops. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach um, that with stamp and dimensionals. People are leaving upstairs. <laughs> they want to come down and say goodbye and they don't want to end up live. <laughs> I should have told them I was done, right? Just <laughs> a fun in that on a Saturday night. Okay. So that's our card. That's it. Super easy. Simple stamping right there, right? Simple stamping. We've got the silhouette. I love it. I really, really love, I love the designer paper is just all of it. It's just so cool. And the stamp set is, I mean, the horse, the sleigh. I love it. I know it's only June, but I, I will be playing with this one for a long time. So that's the first card. Now the second one, I'm just going to share how I did the fold. So it's a double Z. And the double Z is actually a fairly easy one. And I've done this before. So I just really, I mean, it's just designer series paper on the background and designer series paper on the, the folding mechanism and then some, some punched trees. But I, I figured I'll share really quickly how I did the, just how I did that, the double Z part. And I have the measurements and instructions for the card up on the blog already. You can click on the link in the video's description or you can go directly to Stamp with Tammy, and that's Tammy with an I dot com, and you will see them there. Or click the video tab while you're there if you don't see it, if you're watching this six months later and trying to find it, because it may not be on the home page anymore. Let's see, I don't think I need the fold out on for this one, right? So, oops. so the first thing is the card base. This is 11 inches. I'll bring this back in here so you can kind of see the original while I'm doing it. This is 11 inches by four and a quarter, which is a half, a, an eight and a half by 11. And it is um, a standard card base. So these are fold flat and fit in an envelope. This is Lost Lagoon that I'm using on here. So I'm just gonna score there and I'm gonna score at, I'm sorry, did I even tell you the measurement? Score at four, two and three quarters and score at five and a half. That's gonna give us our single Z fold. 
which is a super easy way to make a fun fold and give something special to somebody that doesn't require a lot of a lot of work to put into it. All right, next up, I've got the uh, double Z mechanism, so the double, what makes it the double, and that is one and a half, I believe, or one and a quarter on the uh, on the free PDF. In case you're joining in late, free PDF for uh, the two cards that I'm sharing today. I will have instructions for the rest up on the blog throughout the week. It's it's uh, it's writing the instructions takes a long time, so um, it takes probably longer than anything else I do. So. I just, if I if I waited till I had, was able to write instructions for all of them, I wouldn't have been able to get the video out today. And I really wanted to stamp today because I haven't had a video, right? I was away last week. I haven't had a video and I'm going crazy. I miss you guys. So I am actually scoring this double Z part at the same exact area as I did the dimensions as I did the, the, the base. So that's two and three quarters and five and a half. I'm cheating. I'm not burnishing this very well. Just because I really just want to show the fold. That's really where I was aiming. I, the rest of it is fairly easy. So if I were making this card and if you're looking at the instructions, at this point, I would attach the designer series paper before I put the two pieces together. And it does. The designer paper makes an, a, an awesome double Z fold. It totally does, Cliffy. I totally agree. And I mean, the, the designer series paper is just fabulous. Like it's gorgeous on everything. So next... When I go to attach this, all right, so these are the same dimensions, I'm going to flip this so it's the opposite. So the long piece goes first and the two, these two go like that. So this is gonna fold up like this. And this in a Z, right, is gonna go like that. And then they're going to attach right here. So when you open them, they go like this. So you're gonna want adhesive. right here and right here. And then you're gonna fold that in in your Z formation. What's, what TV show is that where they did the two snaps up in Z formation whenever something was super good? I'll give that the review. Two snaps up in Z formation. <laughs> That's how I feel about this fold. Two snaps up in Z formation. Okay, so attaching. I'm just going to hold that up at a little bit of an angle so you can see. See that? It just goes boom. So there's the long piece in front and the two, the fold right there in on the inside. Double Z. Folds flat, fits in an envelope, and then I just de decorated it with the trees. I used a little Wink of Stella on the trees to make them sparkly. And boom. Your double Z fold. So... Those are my projects for today. Now, I promised, I wanted to, I know I talked about this a little bit at the beginning of the show, but um, I, I wanted to bring this up because uh, I, I had a big goof up today. <laughs> and um, it was a big goof up, but I guess it, for any of you who subscribe to my newsletter, and I, most of you probably do, you got a gift from me today. It was a mistake. And I apologize if I if I confused any of you. In Living Color! Yes, thank you. That was the name of the TV show, In Living Color. Oh, so funny. So uh, I, the, uh, the Paper Pumpkin Kit, and right now I'm sharing June's Paper Pumpkin Kit. So that's what we are, um, that's what the subscription period is for right now. And when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through myself or through Linda or through um, anybody that's the six of us, I believe in the PPX program, we all put together in our PPX group are uh, puts together. We each design a card and we make six alternate videos to share only with our subscribers, like as a little gift for subscribing with us. And I set, I send it out every month and they're usually amazing. They're almost always amazing. And they always give you all other ideas. And I know a lot of people wait for that before they actually use their kit because they don't want to, you know, they don't want to do it unless in case they find something, you know, they see what's something that they like better. Anyways, I hit the wrong mailing list today and I accidentally sent it to my entire mailing list instead of just my paper pumpkin subscribers. And so I got a lot of very confused people <laughs> saying, I do not subscribe to paper pumpkin through you. <laughs> so you have a gift. And I am sorry, not sorry, I guess, because you guys got, you got six alternate videos, whether you subscribe to it or not, enjoy them. 
and you got a taste of what you if you do subscribe uh, with me you get a, you got a little taste today of what you uh, what you would get if you were a subscriber with one of the PPX crew members including myself and I do always appreciate I do try to appreciate all of you every way I can that's one of them and it was for the May kit which was the exploring in color I mean just the box alone you, you want right the kit itself is not you, you, I'm, most of the time you can't purchase the kits after but there is still refills available for it so if you fell in love with it if you got that email saw the videos and went oh my gosh I want to make these um, you can still get the refills if, if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber um, you can still get the refills this is what the kit made right out of the box so these were my, I, since normally I wouldn't share these publicly, but since I accidentally shared it with everybody anyways, these were my PPX projects. I made these with the envelopes. They were just a simple set that I made with envelopes. A lot of times I do like a funky fancy one, but this time I wanted to do, I saw the envelopes, I love them. I couldn't let those pretty prints go to waste. So I, uh, I made that. And then yesterday I did a blog hop with some friends, some demonstrator friends for Paper Pumpkin. We love our Paper Pumpkins favorite time in the mail. So I shared this step card and I um, combined the, this is the cards and envelopes. So in addition to the refill, these are still available. So I talked about this a little bit earlier and I promised I'd come back, circle back to it later. So here it is. These were an add on the, um, sorry, I've got a bunch of scraps hidden in here, but they were cards and envelopes. No, not the scraps that I have in there, but the, the envelopes, and they're uh, boho blue, uh, mauve, and the copper. And these were the card bases. There was three different card bases, but there were 18. So there was nine of each, 18 card bases pre-printed in this beautiful prints in this add-on. And it was, it was 10 or $11 in my online store. It is the best deal, best deal. So I used this to make this step card. So anyways, these are still available. As of today, as of right now, those cards are still available. And if you love to make projects, but you know you find yourself running short on time, having those pre-printed cards available just to throw a, a greeting on even, and it, just do that is such a great deal. So little tip for you before they sell out. This is uh, a stair card, step card. And I use the uh, wilderness, right? The Wildlife Wonder is the, sorry, I was trying to throw that up there. I wasn't trying to get you all dizzy. Wildlife Wonder is the stamp set. And one thing I loved about the this month's Paper Pumpkin kit was the scenes made great backgrounds, and I love just combining, like playing with my stamp sets that I had and combining and, and thinking of different ways to, to use it. So this was one. I took the bear, and there's an owl. See the owl? He's hanging on the back stair there. And it stands up and it looks really, you know, really fun. This one I used the Beside Me stamp set. And this was actually a beach scene. It was a beach scene of a father or a grandfather and a, and, and a child, maybe a little boy here. And the, the man's pointing off in the distance. At, at, you know, maybe it's something in the water or whatever. But I was like, oh, how perfect is that, right? They look like they're out in the wilderness and he's pointing to something, the mountains or some wildlife that's off in the distance. I mean, I, I feel like there's so many stories I could tell here about what this card is, is saying, right? It's like a picture says a, a million words, a million words to, you know, when you look at it. Well, that's how I feel about these, you know, with these cards when you put them together. There's a, there's a million different stories that I could come up with here. And so this was another one using the same beside me stamp set. Now, I, I have the instructions for these three cards that I just shared for you already up on the blog. And there's a blog out there, too, so... If you want to be even more inspired with this paper pumpkin kit, go ahead and check it out. So uh, the great little uh, scene here, the man's fishing with his kids or his grandkids. And it's a slimline card. So slimlines are always fun because they're a little different fold. You get a lot in there. And then now I'm going to share a few that will be coming up this week. So tomorrow I played with the Coffee with Friends stamp set. And I created this with the card, those card bases that I just shared with you. This one, and I like, I, I kind of pulled her over the edge so she looks like she's kind of walking right off the card, like she's popping right out, right into real life here. And she's sitting on a rock. I put her in there. She's sitting on a rock, and she's just 
contemplating staring off into the distance. Another thing I feel like I could make up a million stories just looking at this at what what's happening in this photo. Mine, it, this one it, I made into, I, I thought maybe an encouragement or a sympathy card, but I felt like it could be a birthday card. It could be a congratulations. There's so many things that I, that, that could be, that could work for. And then Mondays is a pinwheel. Pinwheel tower cards. Always fun. Sorry, I got my, my list there of supplies. So they're all, they're never ending, right? Cause they continually, if you're flipping it, there's a lot of different scenes going on here, four different scenes. And I use the envelopes, matching envelopes to match the scene over there. And I'm going to just put this on here just to share how it stands. So it stands up straight. You've got different scenes going on there. So pinwheels are always, always super fun. So I'll have instructions for this on Monday. And then, oh, I don't know which one to go first with. All right, this one. So this one, I think this is my favorite. When I saw, and I don't know if I have any envelopes here that came in the kit. I know I have the envelopes that came with the card add-on, but there were envelopes that came in the kit, and I don't have one, but I, I, cut, I cut this one up to make the front of this card, and this is what they look like, and they match the backgrounds, right? They've got the mountains, but when I saw that, I thought, moon rocks. Moon rocks. So, astronaut. Right in there, right? So that is from the Reach for the Stars bundle, which is from the Stargazing Suite. And I used the Stargazing uh, Designer Series paper in the background, put the little astronaut on the moon rocks, right? I'm sorry. I just love it. I, I just thought that that was, this one, this one I think of the bunch is my favorite. And the last ones that I made here, these are pop-outs. So these I used, I actually made a little extender. So when I have the instructions, I'll share I'll share that too, but I made a little extender so I could add two cards together so that I could make it super long because the cards are, you know, eight and a half inches and I wanted another piece on the end so I could have a fold. I mean, you could just make the front, but I wanted to have the little fold there. So I made an extender on the back so we could do that. So that's one. It's got a little pop out in there. And this is the other one. Yay. Oh, I'm glad you guys love the astronaut card too. I just thought that was adorable. But you know, sometimes I think something is super cool. And then when I share it, it people are like, yeah, it's okay. But I like the other one better. <laughs> but to me, astronaut, astronaut for the win, right? I mean, seriously, I don't know if you guys saw the moon rocks in there too, but now you will. Now, every time you see those mountains, you're going to see moon rocks. <laughs> you're welcome. All right. So today we have been playing with the, um, the online exclusives that will be dropping, they're not out yet, but they will be coming uh, out to customers on July 6th. And they are available now to demonstrators and you can get them in a demonstrator kit. And we talked about the demonstrator starter kit special and how it is absolutely amazing. And you can get these products, everything except that mystery truck <laughs> that's gone viral. <laughs> In a demonstrator kit right now, you'll be able to get the mystery truck, I think, in a demonstrator kit on uh, July 6th, but you won't get the, the bonus $30 for you. So I would say don't wait for that. Get that after with your 20% discount, because after you get it, you get a buyer discount. So that's kind of fun, right? We all love that. And there's also a designer series paper sale. You can also get the sale prices in a demonstrator kit, just an FYI. So if you wanted to add paper in there. It's 15% off everything except the pre-order paper that I shared today. Big tease that I am. Uh, but you can get that paper in a demonstrator kit. And the, the, the paper pumpkin alternates that I just shared as well. And the instructions for everything either is up on my blog now or will be up on my blog this week. So stay tuned. Always check stampwithtammy.com because if you're only on my YouTube and only see the videos, you're missing so much. I post almost every day with new products, our projects and new new tutorials. All right, so I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks for spending this Saturday evening with me. Wait, this was fun. I'm not usually on in Saturday evenings. I didn't, usually I can't do evenings, so this just kind of worked out great and, it, and the, because that all just came in, it was just a great timing. So thanks for sharing it. I hope you guys have the great rest of your weekend or week if you're watching the replay. And I will look forward to seeing you, uh, so Linda, and I will be back with the Stampin' Scoop show on Thursday when she comes back from her weekend, her long weekend. All right. Have a great weekend. Thank you.